It goes back to a quote that my grandpa always told me growing up is, is any fool can grow produce, but it takes a smart, a smart farmer to be able to sell it and make money. It, there is also a challenge of providing a high quality product that, that people want to purchase. really fun as a, a young boy to grow up on on a farm with with everything from sweet corn to pumpkins to tomatoes and peppers and and it was big 240 acres I really enjoyed that that experience uh, being with family and doing something worthwhile and, and seeing how many people uh, enjoyed the produce that we grew I was able to to go up to Utah State and, and study plant science. I was able to take a vegetable production course from Dan Drost. Uh, started doing some, some research with bell peppers. Uh, we were, were looking at, at ways to decrease loss. Um, in Utah, we have high levels of UV radiation that, that lead to a lot of sun scald on peppers. We looked at other alternatives to, to sun scald management as well, from uh, nitrogen management to the shave cloth, the sunscreens that we could put on the fruit. Uh, by the time I finished up that, that program, I, I was able to take what I learned in school and bring it back to the farm and, and start my own business growing, growing bell peppers under shade cloth. It was in the process of finishing up school and starting a new business at the same time. It was really exciting. And I'm looking back on it now. I'm glad I was young when I did it. Um, but it was quite the experience. I've grown a lot and learned a lot. Um, I'm grateful for the school experience that I had as well as the experience I had growing up on a farm. Without both of those, I, I don't know if I would have been as successful as I've been. I've gone throughout the summer uh, with little sleep and, and undernourished to provide other people nourishment. This business of, of farming extends through a lot of uh, a different applications when you think about a dairy farmer and you think about a vegetable farmer and but we all have the same purpose and that's to to feed people and that's that's important I feel uh, privileged to be able to do that and we try to do it in a, a safe and sustainable manner it's interesting because there's there's a spectrum on sustainability I think a lot of people think you have to be organic or conventional um, but we try to meet in the middle, you know, relying less on chemicals, doing a little bit more hand weeding. Um, just, just smart things by, by keeping the weeds down for four or five years, that can reduce our chemical usage for the next 15 or 20 years. Local is good. I really enjoy hiring local people to work for me. I enjoy buying products that I use in my uh, farming endeavors from local companies. Um, Keeping the money right here is, uh, is an integral part of, of who I am. And when I think about how we started with just a, a two-man crew and sorting bell peppers late into the night and in the morning, and it, it seemed like that's all what, that, that we did. But we provided a good product and, and the people at Harmon's enjoyed that. And with that partnership, we've been able to grow. Um, and so this, this is kind of a, a thank you from Harmons in my mind for providing them with a good product. And it's also a commitment from me by, by taking that grant money, um, saying that, that I would like to continue providing good products to Harmons. I value that relationship.